Today, we're reviewing key concepts from Unit 7 on data analysis and probability. This video will help prepare you for your upcoming test. Let's work through some practice questions together. Your first task is to design a questionnaire to collect data on the favorite musical artist of grade six students in your class. Remember to write the question and provide at least five possible answers to choose from. Pause the video now and try to create your questionnaire. Welcome back. Here's a well-designed questionnaire. Who is your favorite musical artist? With the options, Sabrina Carpenter, Bruno Mars, Kendrick Lamar, Billie Eilish, or other. This question meets all the criteria for a good questionnaire design because it can be understood the same way by everyone. It's not biased toward any particular answer, and there's a choice for everyone with the other option included. Next, what would be a suitable method to collect data for determining how most children in Canada get to school? Pause the video and consider what data collection method would be appropriate for this question. The answer is to use databases with information from school boards across the country or Statistics Canada. Large scale surveys where data is collected from across the country would also be a suitable method. Next, what would be a suitable method to collect data on how many jumping jacks you can do in one minute? Pause the video and think about which data collection method would work best. Welcome back. A suitable method would be to conduct an experiment. You could set a timer for 60 seconds, count how many jumping jacks you complete in that time, repeat the experiment multiple times to ensure accuracy, and also have multiple people try it to gather a good sample size. This is perfect for an experiment because it involves a direct measurement that you can observe and count in a controlled setting. Next, Carson has a new puppy. He weighs the puppy at the end of each month. Use the table of values to construct a graph to display the data. The table of values is divided into month and mass in kilograms. Under month, there are the numbers listed 1 through 8. And under the mass in kilograms, the mass varies from 2 to 10. So pause the video and try creating your graph using the data table. For this question, you need to create a line graph because you're showing how the puppy's weight changes over time. Your graph should include a clear title like puppy's growth over eight months, properly labeled x-axis, where it should say month, and the y-axis, where you should have it say mass in kilograms, an appropriate scale for both axes, correctly plotted points, and straight line segments joining the points. We use a line graph here because this is continuous data. The puppy's weight changes continuously over time, not just at the moments it was measured. The line helps us visualize the growth trend. The next question is on theoretical probability. Ethan places four blue, five green, two pink, and three purple balls in a container. What is the theoretical probability of picking each color? Pause the video and calculate the probabilities. To find theoretical probability, we use the formula probability equals number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of possible outcomes. So first, let's count the total number of balls. 4 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3 equals 14 balls. Now we can calculate the probability for each color. For blue, the answer is 4 over 14 because there are four blue balls out of a total of 14 balls. For green, it's five over 14 
pink, two over 14, and purple, three over 14. For the next question, we're looking at which type of graph we would use to display each set of data. The first one is the favorite streaming services of our class. The next is temperature at 9 a.m. every day for one month. And the third one is the number of students that attended our school from 2020 to 2025. Pause the video and decide which graph type is best for each situation. For A, we would want to choose a bar graph for the favorite streaming services. Bar graphs are ideal for categorical data. Each streaming service is a separate category. The height of each bar would show how many students choose each service. This allows for easy visual comparison between categories. For B, we would want to choose a line graph for daily temperature readings. Line graphs are perfect for showing trends over time. Temperature is continuous data that changes from day to day. The line helps visualize patterns and fluctuations in temperature, and you can easily spot warming or cooling trends. The third one, the number of students that attended our school from 2020 to 2025, we would want to use a series of points. So we would plot the ordered pairs, but only part of the data here would be continuous. So that is why we also only plot the points and have a series of points graph. We would not put a line in this case because the number of students is not continuous. It is discrete data. The next question. Carson used this spinner to choose which flavor of potato chips he is going to eat. The spinner has six equal sections. Two sections are labeled S for sour cream and onion. Two sections are labeled R for regular. One section is labeled T for Takis, and one section is labeled D for dill pickle. What is the theoretical probability that Carson will choose Takis? Pause the video and calculate the probability. The theoretical probability that Carson will choose Takis is 1 over 6. Here's why. The spinner has six equal sections in total. Only one of those sections is labeled T for Takis. Therefore, the probability is 1 out of 6, or 1 over 6. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to practice these concepts before your test. Good luck, and until next time.